Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel code and digest today in this tutorial I'll show you how to create how to set up elastic container registry in AWS account and How to upload docker image from our local machine to AWS elastic container registry It is a very basic requirement that we create a docker image in our local and then we want to use that into AWS ECS or into Fargate or app runner. Hence, we have to upload the Docker image into ECR registry. If you want to learn AWS, if you want to learn Docker, then this is a tutorial for you. Okay, watch this video till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and very informative tutorial for you guys. Okay, friends. So now let's create our AWS ECR registry to upload our Docker image. Yes, friend. So now I'll show you how can you create your private ECR registry to upload all your Docker images so that you can use that image into your AWS cloud. Right, friends? Open Google and search for AWS console login. Right? And then go to AWS management console login. Click on login back. If you don't have account, you can create it. It's a free service. So you can create free account. And then you will land on this home page once you log in. I have logged in with my credentials with my account. If you don't have account, you can create and log in. Now this is a home screen. You can see the services that you have used in past. If you have not used any services in past, so you can search here. Let's say ECR Elastic Container Registry. So it will show Elastic Container Registry. Click on that. It will take you to the ECR homepage. This is our Amazon Elastic Container Registry homepage. So here there are few information available. You can read it. For me, the region is selected North Virginia. If you want, you can change the region if you want to. Right now, click on Get Started. Create Registry. Get Started. Now there are two options. You can create your registry private and public, both. But you should read about the pricing for both private and public registry they are charges on the data transfer to and fro internet so if you make it public then people will download your images and there will be a charges to the account so if you are creating public registry in your account so for all data transfer you will be charged for that so make sure that what type of registry you want to create hence i would recommend you create private registry so that you only have access to that registry and you can restrict who can use who cannot use this registry right so i'm creating private registry here you can select that option private and then you have to give a repository name here right this is the this is the server of your registry you have to keep a note of this i'll copy this and save it safe in a notepad so i'll save this and then I'll say code one digest. I'm creating the registry with the same name as my account. They are image scan setting and encryption setting. You can decide whether you want to enable that. After that, click on create repository. Okay, friend. So repository is created. So this is the URL of my registry. Let me copy that URL. So this is a complete path of my registry now we will use this path to upload image from our local okay friends you can use any of your local image to push it to ecr registry so i am using one of my image hello world app in docker for uploading into ecr registry so we'll use that image so if you see here is that image code one digest hello world app in docker i'll show you step by step guide how can you push this image from our local repository to ECR registry? Okay, friends. First, we have to open our AWS CLI and log in into the account so that we can connect to our ECR registry. Okay, for that, you have to create a user in AWS console and provide all the access for your Elastic Container Registry. It should list, it should read, and it should write into the registry. So you have to give all these three permissions to that user. Now, finally, once that is done, then use that user 
to log in into your AWS CLI here. Okay, so you can use AWS config command to log in using that user. Okay, so that your CLI is now logged in into AWS account with that user. You will need access key and access secret for that user. So take the access key and secret from your console and then come to the terminal, use AWS configure command, provide the access key ID and access secret so that your console, your terminal get connected to AWS account using that user. Okay, now it's time for us to upload the image to our AWS ECR registry. But before that, we have to follow a few steps. So what are those steps? These are the steps that we have to do. Okay. First step, create an IAM policy, okay, with a permission for Elastic Container Registry. So you have to create a policy first in AWS with list read and write permission. Okay. So we will use this policy for a user now. So once you created this policy, now create a user right in AWS using above policy. Once the user is created, now you will need the access key and secret for that user. So go into the security tab of that user and there will be option to get the access key for that user. So get access key and secret for that user. You have to keep the access key and secret safe. Otherwise, if you lose it, you will not be able to log in. Using that access key and secret, we will log in from our local terminal into our AWS account. We have to install AWS CLI tool in our local. If you don't have that AWS CLI tool installed in your local, so go and download the AWS CLI tool uh, for your operating system, be it Windows or be it Mac or be it Linux, right? It is available in all the operating system. Once it is done, now that AWS tool is installed in your local machine, you have to connect to AWS account and we will use the user access key and secret to connect our AWS CLI to our AWS account. So you have to use AWS configure command. As soon as you type AWS configure command, then it will ask you the access key. You have to provide the access key that you have saved earlier and provide the secret, then provide the format as a JSON and say enter then it will be able to connect to your AWS account. To confirm that you're successfully connected to your AWS account, you can fire a command AWS configure list. It will list down the users that you have created in your AWS account. So this is a sign that your CLI is successfully connected to your AWS account. You have to do this manually. There are a lot of tutorial available in Google. I told you the step. So once, you are ready with your AWS CLI and it is connected to your AWS account. Now, very first step that you have to do is you have to get your Docker authenticated with your ECR registry. So here is a command AWS ECR get login password. Now this get login password is a command. It's a AWS command to get the token from our ECR registry. Okay. You have to use this get hyphen login hyphen password then hyphen hyphen region you have to give the region where your ecr is running so i'm using us east one then pipe symbol docker login hyphen hyphen username aws so your username will always be aws this will not change okay username will always be aws it is given in their instructions we have to use as is then password stdin okay after that, we provide the URL of our ECR registry. So this URL, the complete URL of my ECR server, when we created the ECR registry, this was given as a part of URL for your ECR registry. So give that here. Now copy this command and fire that into the terminal. So I have done that. If you see here, AWS ECR get login password region us east one pipe docker login user name aws password and this is my url of my ecr registry once you hit this it will say login succeeded that means now your docker 
is authenticated by ECR and now we can push any of our local image to our ECR registry. So the image that I'm going to push here is this one. Hello world app in Docker. Uh, this image I'll push it to my ECR registry. Right friends? Okay friends, now as we have authenticated our Docker with our ECR registry and we got a login successful message, now it's time to re-tag our image, local image. Okay? Unless until you re-tag it, you will not be able to push it. So before pushing our image from our local repository to ECR registry, we have to tag it. So here is the command, docker tag. This is the tag that I have in my local code one digest slash hello world app in docker colon latest. Okay. This is the tag I have and the new tag will be, this is my ECR registry complete path okay dot com and then this is the name of my ecr registry over there code one digest and latest is the tag of version of of that tag okay so we are renaming this image with new name let me copy this and fire this command okay yes it is done let us see docker images now so you see this is the image got renamed with new tag name okay this is the repository and this is the tag is latest what i'll do is i'll use the push command to push this image to our ecr registry and see if this is getting saved and this is getting pushed to the ecr registry so here is the command we'll use docker push and this is the the complete path of my repository and tag okay let me copy this and hit this yeah so it is pushing this image now to my ecr registry once this is done we'll go back to our ecr registry and validate if the image is successfully loaded there right friends right friends so it says it's done now what i'll do is i'll log in into my aws account aws management console and see if the image is available over there right friends okay friends so as we have seen we have successfully uploaded the our application image to ecr registry now it's time to validate if that image is successfully uploaded here or not so i have logged in into my aws management console you can search here ecr right come to ecr registry home page so this is the home page of our ecr registry right and it will show you the repository that you have so this is the repository that i have created now go inside that it will show you the images that we have so this is the image that we have uploaded recently do you see the date that we have uploaded just few minutes back and the size and everything right so this is the image we have successfully uploaded from our local docker repository to AWS ECR registry. Hope the steps are clear with you. It looks like a complicated process, but if you have those prerequisite setup done, then it will be a, a piece of cake. Okay. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, so give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, so do subscribe to my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay, friends. So now let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today. I know it was a quick video and it was not planned. I spontaneously created this video because I saw there were query from the people. Therefore, I created this video. So we learned what is ECR registry, how to create it, how to set up ECR registry in AWS account. There are two type of ECR registry. One is public and one is private. You can decide what type of registry you want to create. Okay, friends. So once ECR registry is created, then we have to tag our docker image for our ecr registry once the tagging is done then you have to push that image from your local to ecr registry i have shown you the docker image was successfully uploaded from our local to aws ecr registry okay friends so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel so do subscribe to my channel to grow code one digest family thank you friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up
and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.